this has been an experience. Hello everyone and welcome back to Pins and Whiskers. This video is going to be really fun. <laughs> so, a lot has happened since my last video with the rabbits and that is that they're finally bonded. Nella has been fixed and after that they have been bonded. She's currently doing crazy zoomies right now. Um, Nala is actually a boy, but she will be kept as Nala. Um, <laughs> so their bonding process will be a bit, or er, no, their bonding process was faster because she did heal faster because she is a boy. So they are bonded and I thought I would make a video just for it with the two of them together. And I thought a salad date would be perfect for that. So, I hope you enjoy this video. So, the way this video is going to work is I'm going to give them their salads, their morning salads as I normally do, but I'm also going to be eating pieces of their salad as well. I've put some in a bowl for me, um, and I'm going to be eating them raw. So, this will be interesting because there are many veggies that I just haven't ate at all, and also that I just haven't ate raw without any kind of dressing, so this will be interesting. But yes, I will be eating the veggies like they would, no added ingredients, so the only thing I will not be doing is eating like them because human ASMR is just not the same. Oh. You're so cute. So just a quick run through of the veggies they will be eating today and myself as well. There is purslane, red leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, dill, basil, and chamomile. My portion is much smaller because I am certain you do not want to sit through a video of me just chowing down on food. So yeah. Quieren ensaladas? <laughs> Quieren ensaladas, mis peanuts? My rabbits are Mexican, so I do talk to them in Spanish. Quieren ensaladas, mis peanuts? A ver, a ver. Tú acá. No, mira la. Tú acá. Can I fit through? <laughs> so the reason I feed them separately is just because I'm very paranoid about them getting the same nutrients. Um, I know rabbits all love to eat together. Tell me if I'm wrong doing this, but I don't know. I just really like for them to get the same amount of nutrients. And I can't really control that when they are eating from the same bowl because they are bound to eat more of something else than the other. Of another thing. This video is just gonna be kind of like a chill video. I wanted to make this video for a while because it would also be nice for you guys to get to know the buns. They have so much personality um, and so distinct personalities. Kubo and Nala are complete opposites. But right now they're eating <laughs> dill, so I think, well, Kubo just ate purse. No, what did you eat? I think Kubo just ate dill and that was currently on dill, so I'm gonna try the dill. And I am scared. Honestly, I think I've only had dill with like dill pickles. <laughs> Okay, that was an experience. It was very hairy, which I'm not used to in food, so that was weird. Otherwise, it kind of tasted like grass with a little bit of bitterness to it. It was definitely not something I would eat raw again, 
or even in a salad. I don't know. I don't like the hairy texture. That was pretty weird. And I also asked some of you guys on Twitter some questions to just kind of answer in this video. And one of the questions were, what is your favorite wild animal? And honestly, that will have to be penguins. I am obsessed with penguins. They're such amazing creatures and I really like their personalities. I think the first time that I ever saw penguins in real life was like a year ago, I want to say. It was very cool. Um, there was one penguin that just had arm like this the entire time and I was there for an hour because I was just indulging the entire experience. Who is now eating his lettuce and Nala is eating chamomile I believe so. I will start with the lettuce because honestly I need to cleanse my palate from that dill because that was... <sighs> Honestly, lettuce isn't that bad raw or without dressing. I have eaten it before like that with no problem. It just tastes green. Now the next question is what is your favorite animal to own and why? Honestly, I have to go with rabbits. I am a new rabbit owner. Honestly, I've learned so much about them. I kind of want to take back my wild animal, my favorite wild animal, because I think it would have to be rabbits too, and it, the reason for that is simply because I get to learn so much about our domesticated rabbits just by observing the behaviors and the plants and things that rabbits do go to and avoid in the wild, and I really, really enjoyed researching all of that and, and comparing it to domesticated rabbits and so yeah, my favorite animals to own are rabbits. I really like that they're herbivores. Um, I really like growing their own food. It's really rewarding for me. I grow a lot of plants for them. I grow basil, arugula, um, dill, hibiscus, and other foods. So it's really neat that I can grow most of their foods, if not all. Just not a consistent amount of grass or hay because that would be nearly impossible with the amount of hay that they eat. Um, but most of the majority th of the things that I feed them, I do grow. But yeah, I would have to say rabbits, they're just beautiful creatures. I love their personalities. They're so smart and funny. I think that I would have never seen rabbits in the same light I do now uh, if it wasn't for a friend owning a rabbit and just researching all of the things for him to help him with his new rabbit and I just fell in love with them myself so yeah they're just I could cry right now <laughs> but now I'm going to try chamomile now I love chamomile tea but I've never eaten chamomile like the plant so this will be weird I'm afraid, Jesus. <laughs> no. I can't tell you guys how awful can we pickle? How never eat chamomile the flower like they do. I don't know how they do it, but now I have pieces of chamomile all over my tongue, and it's so bitter, and it was just honestly the worst out of all the ones I've tried so far. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I was actually expecting to like it, because I love chamomile. I love the smell of chamomile. The tea is wonderful, but that was awful. I would never eat chamomile the plant like I just did. But now I will move on to basil and honestly I'm just scared for the rest of my life. <sighs> oh, thank you Nala. It's crazy how many of these 
taste so differently with dishes that we can eat and they can't. Um, it's just so bland, all of this for me. I don't think there's any one that I would say, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat this just like this because it's amazing. No, honestly, this video has been difficult and um, I am so glad as humans we have evolved to learn different recipes and things that go well with foods that we wouldn't normally eat like this because it's just so hard. <laughs> but they are healthy and I'm so glad you guys like them and can eat them just the way they are because I certainly am struggling. And the last thing I'm gonna try is parsley. been an experience. Now that bubble bowl. Okay. You go there. Next question is if there was one wild animal that totally shouldn't be a pet that you could actually have as a pet, which one? Now that's where I would answer penguins. They're my favorite non-domesticated animal. <laughs> Hi there. Again, I love their personalities and they're just so funny too and cute. And the last question is what animals would you like to own in the future? And have you ever felt overwhelmed or burned out by caring for your current pets? So animals I would like to own in the future are probably rats. I honestly never saw myself liking rats at a point in my life. Um, but then after owning a hamster and learning more about rodents, I fell in love with them completely. Um, I don't know why people are so disgusted by rats now. Because they're just so adorable and they're just trying to live life. So. But yeah, I would think it would be rats, but at the same time, I'd be very cautious about getting into that. And making sure that the time is right, because... Rats do live a short period of time, and they do need specific care, and I'm just not ready to own them just yet. In fact, not for a long while. <laughs> oh, yeah. And as for any current pets that I feel um, burned out with or overwhelmed, right now it would have to be my 50-gallon tank. My fish all have internal parasites in that tank, and I have been dealing with this for since the beginning of this year um, and it's been quite a struggle. I've had to try metronidazole, praziquanto, um, a mixture of the two, putting it in their food, um, doing several water changes in the tank, always going through treatments and I have not been able to get rid of these internal parasites so I'm kind of letting my fish just live their life right now uh, still trying to treat but with no avail. But yeah, it's just very depressing to look at and I'm very overwhelmed by it. But the rabbits are done eating. I am um, thankfully done experiencing what they eat. That was very bland and very texture wise, very terrifying for me. That was, I. I'm not a fan of textures that disperse the way they did in my mouth, so. But that was fun, and I think the rabbits ate all what I didn't eat, and it was a lot because... But I hope that was fun for you guys to watch. I know this is just kind of a chill video, um, and I will be making videos on their spaying process, and as well as their bonding process. Oh, but for now, we are full. We are happy to be alive, aren't we, Buns? Now that this flopped Kubo is open, <laughs> Kubo is laying like a little bowl. And we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Um, what you thought of this video and like the video. I will try to be making more 
uh, entertaining videos like this in the future if you do guys like it. I personally enjoyed it even though the food was horrific. Um, this was very fun and not something I normally do so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. But yeah, that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching Fins and Whiskers and supporting me all the time. Thank you for 100 subscribers and counting and I'll see you guys next time.